as we are discussing about the forest ecosystem, so you see forest ecosystem are the biotic community. We have two component of the ecosystem that is biotic and abiotic. So forest is a biotic community. You see, a biotic community means um, it has living plants and animals. So basically, the living factors are present in the forest. So we call fire forest as a biotic community, which has a uh, forest has shrubs, it has trees, it has herbs. Okay, so all types of vegetation are present in the forest. So mainly, you see nowadays we are we have disturbed the forest ecosystem. You we cannot find the undisturbed forest in the uh, at, in the environment. We cannot find the undisturbed forest. So basically, we can see the disturbed forest in the ecosystem. And if you want to uh, see the undisturbed forest, we can only recognize them or only we can see them in the national parks and wildlife sanctuary. So the forest ecosystem, they are basically, it has two components. One is your non-living or abiotic aspect. and living or the biotic aspect just two components so non-living things means non-living or the abiotic aspect means non-living things means uh, the soil the climatic conditions um, the air water everything comprises your abiotic aspect so you see the type of forest it always depends on the abiotic condition you see forest which you find in the plain. We also get forest in the plain. We also get forest in the hills and mountains. So we cannot, it cannot be similar. The forest of the plain and the forest of the hills and mountains. It cannot be similar. It has some difference. Now why this difference has arisen? This difference is because um, of the varying variety of climatic condition. You see the atmosphere, the environment, the climatic condition that you find, find in the hills and mountains is not similar to that in the plain. Okay, it is not similar to the plain. The air condition, atmospheric condition, it is not similar. So basically, because of the change in the abiotic condition, we have different characteristics of the forest. Another characteristic that define the type of the forest is our vegetation. Now, this vegetation, uh, vegetation may be dense vegetation, so we go no. The vegetation can be dense as well as it can be scanty, at the me, I mean dilute. So this vegetation, it is it's characterized by the amount of rainfall a forest receives and Temperature, the temperature, the annual temperature that the forest is receiving. So these are the two factors which determine the characteristics or the vegetation of the forest. So, uh, see, temperature it always varies with the latitude. As you go above the sea level, the temperature starts from decreasing. So the forest or the uh, trees which you find in the Colder climatic region, you cannot expect the forest in the plain. You cannot expect that. Again, another criteria that defines the career the forest is your soil availability or the type of soil. So if the soil is acidic, then it will support a particular type of plant. If the soil is not too much acidic, then it will support a different category of plant. So these are some of the factors that determine the types of forest. So next factor, um, yeah, next we are coming to living components. Living components are, we can say, what are the living components present in the forest? Plants and animals. So this plant found in the forest, it can be large plants or it can be small plants. So basically they are, they can be macrophyte or microphyte. Microphyte means, sorry, macrophyte or microscopic. Small plants or large trees. 
again animals can be at the same time animals can be small animals can be present or at the same time we can find the larger macrophytes so basically uh, this uh, living organism are also specific to a particular forest for example if i say coniferous tree coniferous or pine tree you must have noticed the coniferous or the pine trees so this pine trees you you can find this pine trees in the hilly areas only in the himalayas you can find the pine trees the pine trees are not in the plains they are not you cannot see the pine trees in the plains because that trees grows in the colder climatic condition only they cannot adapt themselves to the uh, temperature or whatever the climatic condition the plain areas has again mangrove when you where you find the mangrove mangrove we find in the river delta delta bolte the area the place where the river flows into the ocean it forms a v shaped land or it cuts through the land v shape forming a v shaped structure that is our delta so mangrove we generally find in the delta area so this is a characteristics of delta delta area okay again when it comes to animals there are some animals which, which can uh, adapt themselves and in, who can survive only in the colder climatic region and again there are some animals which can uh, survive in the somehow moderate temperature moderate to high temperature for example you see snow leopard snow leopard is found in the himalayas and tiger we find in the everywhere in india almost everywhere in india we can find i mean they can adapt themselves not everywhere we can find but they can adapt themselves to every uh, to the climatic condition of the plain area again you know that himalayan regions have many varieties of bird species which cannot be found in the plain so the characteristic animals are uh, animals have adapted themselves animals of the plants they have adapted themselves to particular forest area which has particular climatic condition next uh, when it comes to plants so the plants um, which are found in the forest ecosystem it can be it can be classified into angiosperms and gymnosperms i think you have Uh, read in the school that plants amra amra plants se ke categorize korte pari into angiosperm and gymnosperm angiosperm hote hai flowering plant je sob uh, plant plant ek phool khite that is our angiosperm and gymnosperm se jara flowering kore na non flowering plant are gymnosperm you might have noticed the pine pine trees if you have seen the pine tree pine trees they do not have flowers pine trees se kintu kono dino phool phute na they have cones instead of flowers they have the cones so cones are the reproductive structure of those plants so plants we have basically angiosperms and gymnosperms so similarly in uh, forest ecosystem animals they can be categorized into reptile mammal reptile means those animals which uh move into the ground they cannot stand up then reptiles we have mammals or the bird giving animals we have reptiles mammals then we have uh, insects so all these are components biotic components of the forest ecosystem 